हेलियो एंड वेलकम टू दुषार शो वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स दिस इज टाइटल चैप्टर टू एंड रिकॉर्डिंग डेट एंड टाइम इज लेवेंथ ऑफ मे टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन लेवन फोर्टी वन एम इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम एंड इट्स the official sponsors of this podcast are the tushar broadcasting company and the tushar times you can find them at instagram by placing an underscore between the words tushar has two a's so just search for the underscore tushar underscore times and the underscore tushar underscore broadcasting underscore co that will be tushar broadcasting company my dog has just come into the room so what are we going to be talking about today i have been thinking that if i'm going to restart my podcast with a fresh start i need to tell you about the journey of this podcast how it started i need to tell you about why uh, this was a calling for me and while doing so i am actually discovering why this is a calling for me because this is an exercise for me too i am trying to find out why was podcasting my calling and there are a lot of podcasters out there many of them are doing it for running their business many are doing it as an hobby but this is something i just need to do because this is me this along with my newspaper right now so the present calling for me is this my newspaper and drums today's podcast will talk about chapter 2 which will be about why podcasting started for me and uh, the idea of chapter 2 came after i wrote a review for my previous podcast so i need to create blogs on my website too and i'm creating blogs in the form of newspaper articles and these newspaper articles are tushar times they they come under the tushar times articles and i am the editor of the paper so i call myself the editor i'm the reporter i'm the i'm the everything of the paper as of now and i hope to remain so too but moving ahead i wrote an article reviewing my own podcast i gave it 3 and a half stars out of 5 3.5 stars like a movie rating and uh one of the comments and feedback that i wrote was i need to be more crisp at telling my stories because i tended to zone out while i was talking and i know that this may be difficult for now because you may not be used to someone just monotonously speaking to you but i think once you get used to it it will be something like an accompaniment for you while you're doing some task you can have my voice going on in the background and i will get intense on my own when the story becomes really interesting and that will catch your attention automatically and you will get the story so you don't need to worry if you zone out in the middle i'm i'm going long form podcasting or short form podcasting but don't worry if you don't get the entire story i'll be writing reviews and feedback and i'll just keep re repeating myself over the next few podcasts you'll understand the basic story So here's what you need to know about me your host now for the people tuning in from Saudi Arabia hello from people tuning in from New Zealand hello people tuning in from Australia the Netherlands Kenya Nairobi Kenya Nairobi in Kenya America uh Switzerland then what else do we have Haiti hello to the whole world i'm reaching you through this mic which has a red uh, cap connected to my laptop 
and yep five minutes are up of this podcast so things have changed i'm now an international podcaster once i was just worried whether 25 people in my class will listen to me out of which maybe two or three heard me and i was worried whether they would respond to the messages i sent on the group once i was just worried about 25 people then i was worried about a college of maybe 500 people but you know what my podcast has been downloaded more than 10000 times and it's continuing the journey is on so there seems to be no end in sight and i think 25 and 500 maybe 525 is not a real number because i've crossed it all i've reached 10000 and i was in the top 30 podcasts of india in february of this year that was a great achievement for me i was in the top one of my episodes was in the top 10 episodes in the education category of itunes india and those were really big achievements for me but where did this all start where did podcasting start for me i think uh, if this continues to be a series of podcasts let it be i'll tell you a bit of myself my history and things i like and i think we'll slowly build on this podcast step by step that will develop a relationship between you and me of course we will never be meeting each other i won't be hearing from you i may hear from you but not at the same time that i'm speaking but let's just say that this is a friendly relationship in which i want to send you good energy because i feel good about myself and i feel lovingly towards myself during times of recording this podcast and i want you to feel the same while you hear such a such a gift of god to me to you yeah you can consider it as a gift from me to you and receive the good vibes so where did it all start if we trace it down back i always used to say it started in my school in delhi but then if we trace it further back i'd say it started after i left my school in pune and then i think if we trace it further back it would be a meditation camp that i attended in pune and if we trace it further back it would be a personal development book that my father got me in udhampur if we trace it further back it would be my mother who was into a lot of self help books and she used to read a lot so if we trace it even further back it was my great it was my grandfather who introduced self help books and affirmations to my mother not directly but he was also into it and my mother said that she used to observe him speaking about affirmations so okay let's start there i think that's the furthest we can go for now so let's start at my mother's father my grandfather his name was brigadier parthasarthi and it is very surprising and i i think his name is brigadier v parthasarthi yes his name is brigadier v parthasarthi and i am not sure what v stands for i am so sorry about that i'm going to pause find out and i'm going to re- restart okay i'm right the name is v parthasarthi and v stands for his father's name which is veer raghavan and parthasarthi is his name so in the south of india from where i belong my mother is from the south of india my father is also from the south of india uh my mother says that i'm giving out a lot of sensitive information 
so that's kind of spoiled the mood for me uh but i guess i have to speak yes you know what this is the tushar show and tushar decides that there's going to be names taken on this podcast because this is going to be something that i can get back to maybe in 50 or 60 years because i don't think the internet is going anywhere and i can rehear these podcasts and there there'll be a lot of history in this when you don't state things like this like v raghavan if i if i didn't state that v standard for v raghavan then i would probably never know that my great grandfather's name was veer raghavan because in the south of india we put the name of the father before the name so my grandfather's name was parthasarthi his his father's name was veer raghavan his father's name was veer raghavan so my grandfather's name was v parthasarthi and he was a brigadier in the army he was in the signal corps of the indian army and he retired in the 1980s or 1990s and uh, he was a very loving and generous man i wasn't with him unfortunately for a long time he passed away when i was 4 years old in 2003 2003 or 2004 and i have i have a few memories with him and he was he was a very warm man i remember feeling i remember sitting on his lap and he was holding me and i felt very warm inside he had these spectacles and uh <laughs> I really don't remember much but I can tell you this that I mean I have this one memory where I left a lot of biscuits on the bed where he used to sleep and ants came and bit him and then I remember him sitting around he was he was old then and he had had a car accident in which my grandmother passed away so uh i've come to the kind of history of my family from my mother's side so my mother my grandmother and my grandfather were in a met like they had an act, they were in a car and the car hit a truck or something and there was an accident my grandmother passed away this was in 1999 and i was 6 months old but my grandfather he survived and he lived till 2003 and he was with me for 4 years yep but he was the one who brought about a lot of affirmations in he it seems my it seems that he used to uh, do like he used to consciously say things like i love you i care for you to my mother and my mother observed this and he, uh, she told me that he was reading a lot of self development books and that's when he started this so she saw that he was implementing things from self help books and that's when i think she decided that she too was going to be like that this is my this is my assumption i shall ask them i shall ask her about this after she listens to this podcast but uh that's where it started for me 
from my grandfather on my maternal side where he that that's that's as far behind as i can go where he he did self development for my mother and then my mother i think before i was born was a very avid reader she still is an avid reader she likes to read a lot of books it i think before i was born or during i was while i was a baby she was reading a lot of parenting books she was reading a lot of self help books she read a lot of self help books and she tried affirmations too and she would always keep trying and implementing things for me which was nice i guess and what can i say to give an example she tried very hard i mean i remember her getting upset on me when i was young and everything but she would i can't remember anything as of now so i will take a break keep this podcast as chapter 2 i've told you details and i've told you a lot about my grandfather from my mother's side veer raghavan parthasarthi with all due respect so brigadier general in the army a brigadier general in the army uh, i have a photo album of him in my treasure box and that's a very dear memory for me of him So that was about my grandfather today and how he started affirmations for my mother. In the next podcast I'm going to talk about how my mother and father influenced things for me and then we'll move on. So that's the first that's chapter 2 of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this is a new style of format. I I know this is a new format of podcasting and you may not be used to it but i am your host toshar and this is as candid as i can get and this is as real as i can be there's no glam sham there is just toshar being toshar this is how i'm going to be fun parts will come but i need to do this to honor to respect to to give to pay my regards to the calling that i got i need to record these series of podcasts and upload them so do support me and thank you all